Hey guys, I wanted to give you tips on how to practice when you're on vacation without your trumpet. So most of the time when you go on your vacation, if you're thinking about practicing or you want to keep your chops in shape, I've got a couple tips here for you um, if you're not going to bring your trumpet, because bringing your trumpet can be kind of a hassle. You've got one carry-on already. If you're going to bring your trumpet. If it's in a case, you cannot check it because they will crush it and kill your trumpet. Um, so you have to carry it on with you. Um, so if, you're, if you don't have room, the best way and the number one tip would be to bring your mouthpiece. There's a, I already have a couple tu tutorials on lip bu um, mouthpiece buzzing. You can bring those along. You can check them out on YouTube if you want. And there's other books and videos too on lip, um, excuse me, mouthpiece buzzing. So number one tip, bring your mouthpiece and buzz exercises. You can buzz exercises, tonguing exercises, lip slurs. You can buzz tunes. And that's a great way to keep your chops in shape where you're gone for a week or so. Tip number two, in addition to bringing your mouthpiece, is to buy a lead pipe, okay? And these are relatively cheap. You can get them online. And what I do is I'll go ahead and buzz some exercises on the lead pipe, just playing low and getting the lips to vibrate easily. something easy and when you play the lead pipe I really like starting out the day with that because it's really relaxing and it's easy to get a buzz so in addition to bringing your lead pipe you've got your mouthpiece and there are two things that you can do to keep your chops in shape number three just using your lips free lip buzzing so I'll have uh, on my phone I have something called a tiny piano I also have tonal energy which is an app that gives you a drone um, so I'll get a pitch, there's our C, our low C, and I'll just buzz um, something out of the stamp book. Now I'll go up in half steps. And so on and so forth go as high as you can go and that's a really good isometric exercise right there if you're on vacation to try to keep your embouchure in shape so I know this video is about not bringing your trumpet but I wanted to include this one anyway because I bought a really cheap pocket trumpet it looks kind of cool it's black you can see I've been playing it a little bit too much so this fits in my case really easy, really easily. It's like it's smaller than a pair of shoes. Um, this trumpet I bought, I think, on eBay for a hundred bucks, but it's um, really hard to play. It doesn't slot very well. Um, it feels really funky. Um, I wouldn't encourage you to practice hardly at all on it unless you're on vacation or you need to warm up your chops. Uh, really quick in the car or something so I'll put a link in the description below I bought it just for vacations and uh, for practicing in the car too um, but like I said I mean I can I can play on it but it doesn't slot well it plays out of tune So I can get around on it, but uh, it sounds funky and it and it feels funky. But at least I'm getting a workout, okay? And it, like I said, it didn't cost very much. The Protec Practice Mute, make sure you get the little one, right? Because it's easy to carry. It doesn't have that much room. And it actually fits in the pocket trumpet. right and it's pretty soft so at least you're going to get a workout and you'll be ready for your gigs when you get back or for band or what may have you be sure to go to my website at jefflewistrumpet.com and subscribe to my email list and you'll receive 11 scales for jazz improvisation and check out my other videos and tutorials on youtube and we'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching